Question 17. We've got a shape and we've got to measure accurately the longest side of the shape. Give your answer in millimetres. Well, what we should be able to do is notice that the longest side of the shape is actually this one. We should be able to tell that just by looking at it. So what we need to do now is bring our ruler in. Make sure that the zero is on the end of the line. If you do that, that's no use because it's not on the end. So be accurate, as accurate as you can. Once it's on the end of the line, again, measure. You've got to be as accurate as you can. So this is 90 millimeters, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. It looks to be one more further on than 95. So that looks like 96 millimeters. So I'm going to put in there 96 millimeters. That's where the rule it seems to be showing. Some of you may have had centimeters on your ruler. So it may have looked like this. Now, if you had centimetres on your ruler, you will probably have measured it to be 9.6 centimetres. Well, don't forget that one centimetre is 10 millimetres. So nine centimetres is 90 millimetres. 9.5 centimetres would be 95 millimetres and therefore 9.6 centimetres would be 96 millimetres. So if your rule hasn't got millimetres on it straight away you could work it out using the centimetres. Let's scroll down to the second part of the question. It then says measure accurately the smallest angle in the shape. Use a protractor which is a posh word for an angle measure. So Let's get the ruler out of the way, because we don't need that anymore. We now need to measure the smallest angle in the shape. Now you should be able to tell that this is obtuse, so it's not going to be that one. These three angles are acute, and this one is actually the smallest one. So it's that angle that we need to measure. You should be able to tell that just by looking at it. So bring your angle measurer in. We need to turn the angle measure it upside down because we need our zero line to be along this line here. The, the center of the angle measure it needs to go on the corner of the angle you're actually measuring. So that will need to go there. But as I say, we need to have the zero line level with this side. Of the, of the shape that we're trying to measure. So now, now we've got the zero line in position, which is here, this is the zero line. We need to measure to here, because this is where the angle that we're trying to measure comes up to, this line here. And it looks as though it is 0, 5, 10, 15, 20 and it may just be a couple of degrees further on than 20 so we're going to say 22 degrees now normally what they do in this sort of question is they allow you one degree either side so they will have probably accepted 21 degrees to 23 degrees You've got to just measure it as accurately as you can. Make sure the centre of the angle measure goes on the corner of the angle and make sure the zero line goes on one of the lines and then just start measuring from zero. 10, 20, couple more, 22. So that angle should be 22.